Hello learners, I am Dr. Subodh Kishorwani working with Indira Gandhi National Open University in School of Management Studies. The topic which I am going to talk today is, is quite contemporary in nature and uh, it is technological innovation skill development. So if you go into the backdrop of this topic, this topic talks about innovation, this to topic talks about you know the skilling and how the business is going to be changed with the, with, the, with the change of technology, with the change of innovations and how the skill is going to play a very important role because when you talk about skilling, you are grooming the employer or the employee or the sometimes you know the consumers also so that they can, they can get, get the customized product or the tailor-made product. So we are going to talk today about this topic in a more uh, more innovative manner and uh, if you if you see this is part of our uh, bcom program that is bcom cbcs and the name of the course is computer application business which is a third semester course and uh, uh, this is part of the bcoc 132 course and the second unit talks about technological innovation skill development so uh, the first unit of this particular block talks about the about the business and the second unit talks about the technological innovation skill development so if you if you see this technological innovation skill development there are changing there are certain changes which are you know playing a very vital role as far as the business is concerned and if, if the business is not going to be changed or the pedagogy of the business is not going to change ultimately what will happen the the uh, the product becomes redundant and it will be out from the market so this innovation and when you talk about the technology which is which is today's which is changing with the change of time the today's technology maybe maybe tomorrow uh, obsolete structure so how you are going to adapt the change how you are going to adapt the technology that is going to play a very important role and when you when you go more into the depth of this it's it's about you know changing uh, the mindset it's not about you know uh, something which talks about the technology how you are going to change your mindset how you are going to adapt and how you are going to put the things into uh, picture that is more important so it's all about you know the process and uh, uh, afterwards you know the critical success and failure factor we are going to do the SWOT analysis we are going to find out and uh, the proper evaluation is, is quite important because when you talk about the critical success and failure factors we have to see uh, we have to evaluate the things in, in a both the manner that is the critics and the plus point and negative point so these are the important ingredients which are very important and increasing market competitiveness because the way things are changing we have seen that the market is changing with the change of time and the shelf life of the company is changing there was a time when shelf life of the company was was 30 years 40 years but right now it has narrowed down to uh, you know uh, 10 years or 5 years so how you're going to be uh, competitive how you're going to you know uh, uh, put the cut uh, cutthroat competitions so this is all about so contribution to the research and development that is more important it's not like that research and development is purely a domain of the researchers or the or the scientists or the engineers but the corporates are also doing a lot of research and development because with that research and development they are able to know that uh, what could be the taste of the consumers and what could be you know the pedagogy the company is going to be used so there are certain change which are going to play a very important role and uh, when you talk about you know uh, uh, the change of the work culture is also going to be important and about design of new products services and techniques because if you are going to if you are not going to design the new product or the services or techniques ultimately what will happen that uh, you are not going to survive in the, in the in the market and when you are not going to survive in the market you will be out from the fray so taking into consideration how we are going to design new products, services and techniques that is very important and improving existing products which lead to customizations because tailor-made approach and uh, how the product is going to be you know designed for the particular consumers and it could be user friendly these kind of you know the research is, is quite important and uh, when you talk about you know the new technological knowledge this new technical uh, technological knowledge talks about uh, the certain uh, changes which are coming up like you know artificial intelligence or machine learning or you know the deep learning or internet of thing because when you are going to talk about the knowledge you have to see the knowledge in a technological perspective and finally the skilling is going to play a very important role because uh, how the technology is going to be imbibed uh, uh, amongst the amongst the employees among the uh, humans so that they can adapt the change uh, and uh, certain there are certain fears which are in their mind that when the technology enters uh, ultimately they will be out from the picture so this kind of fear should not be there so if you talk about this particular theme it's uh, it's revolves around you know the technological innovation and skill development and uh, uh, as i have already told you 
that uh, if you see this paradigm shift in societal change, we have started with you know the hunting society, then we have got agrarian society, then industrial society, then information society, and finally you know the smart society is there. So the, we have moved from uh, there is a paradigm shift from four indus 4.0 to 5.0, and when you more talk about you know the 4.0, it talks about you know the work from home culture, and then you know learning at your doorstep, and when you talk about the society 5.0 it's purely smart society which is more hybrid in nature it's had a combination of you know the brick and mortar approaches and the and the uh, and the contemporary approaches and how it is going to be intermingled that is all about this uh, super smart society and this super smart society is equipped with machine learning artificial intelligence and there are certain changes which are coming up and uh, what i have told in the very beginning that how you're going to change the mindset that is more important because the conventional approach is quite uh, fruitful in the present scenario and if you are going to eliminate the conventional or the stereotype approaches ultimately there are chances that the existing system would be on the deathbed so there must be a proper synchronization there must be a proportionately uh, uh, development which leads to you know uh, the society in a more smart manner and uh, gradually the things can go on if you are going to uh, execute all the things in one shot ultimately what will happen you are not going to uh, reach the destination uh, in, a, in a systematic manner and ultimately those who are associated with the uh, with the organization with the entity or with the systems they will if they will be eliminated ultimately uh, the whole system become collapse or haphazard so this part need to be taken care that how you are going to synchronize with the with the existing systems and that existing systems can be uh, executed with the contemporary thought so uh, if you see this technological innovation the technological technology and innovation when combined together lead to technological innovation that is very true and uh, we all know that there is no clear cut definition about the technology the yesterday technology is is no more you know fruitful in the present circumstances so ultimately what is happening that that uh, technology is changing with the change of time and innovation is something which is which is uh, which started with creativity then inventions and finally innovate so technological innovation implies new technology whereas creating new products and services and uh, end of the day you know the new business opportunities come up there were certain products which would never exist in the past but but right now if you go more into the depth of it you will find out these uh, product are dominating and the pedagogy is also dominating the the uh, moving from commerce to e-commerce then app based e-commerce is there and uh, and finally you see a lot of changes is coming up and there are certain products which which never there like you know uh, the wifi bulbs or you know, or the or the other things where there is no uh, use of you know uh, the stereotype approaches you can you can take a help of alexa or you can take a help of a google assistant so the voice based uh, technology is coming up where uh, if you are using a, a remote for the led tvs i think uh, the voice based uh, uh, model had come up where there is no use of remote so ultimately the voice recognition software can can in, can enable or facilitate the the viewers to just you know on the tv or off the tv so this kind of model is going on so when you talk about the technological innovations it talks about generate or create a new idea which is based on technological capability or knowledge which we usually call as an invention so develop the idea into a reality leading to building of a product and this is called realization so finally when you invent the product when one invent the product when they realize and then the implementation comes into picture so implementation of new idea is 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 going to play a very important role because how you're going to implement that is more important and uh, when you talk about the technology uh, innovations innovations can be intangible and uh, as opposed to technology which is tangible in nature because uh, we can never uh, you know get in a physical format as far as the innovation is concerned so you can even apply the innovation process to your everyday life and that we are doing there are certain things which we are doing in our day to day activity and and from that activity we convert it into uh, a process so technological can technology can be used to implement innovations but the technology itself does not pro produce innovation that is very true because technology work as an enabler and how we are going to use it that is more important the there are certain examples which are you know definitely add over here like the drone example when drone was uh, 
uh, originated or invented at that time it was you know uh, it was not everybody cup of tea to go and buy the drone because the the defense or the army is using that and after certain time you find out that uh, right now the drone is de delivering pizza in western words so this kind of uh, pedagogy this kind of model had come up where technological innovations creates opportunities for entrepreneurs to find new organization establish competitive positions because uh, we have to always uh, see the things in a in a in a very positive manner if you take example of a glass we always say the glass is half filled or half empty so when you're talking about the uh, innovations when you talk about the technological innovations you have to talk in that perspective that it is it is something which which is definitely going to be helpful to the individuals or the society by and large so technological innovation also creates uncertainty and risk it's uh, it's very true because uh, in in my previous uh, slides i have talked about the critical success and failure factors because when you talk about the critical success and failure factors you are evaluating the things in a in a in a very systematic manner in a balanced manner so when you uh, try to more go for the technological uh, uh, implementation and you are not uh, you know uh, taking care about your existing setups or the legacy systems or the or uh, or the day to day you know the employees who are associated with that ultimately what happen uh, there is a chances that the system can uh, cannot you know synchronize with the with the existing approach and ultimately it would be it can trouble you so there are some good examples about the change there are some bad examples about the change those who are you know totally depend on the change ultimately what happen they their system become haphazard so one has to quite cautious that if you are not going to apply the technological in a systematic manner and based on your uh, you know uh, sort analysis ultimately the organization will be in, it will be in trouble and there are some some good examples and there are some bad examples where they are, they run for the uh, technology and ultimately what happen their legacy system collapse and, and organization were on the dead beds so they uh, their their graph of the production and their graph of you know the credibility had goes down as compared to the the present scenario so if you talk about this innovation in technological business the, there are certain changes which had come up like advances in machine learning innovations then algorithm training will result in new and further developed ai and autonomous vehicles and robotics technologies had come up we have seen that that uh, in the whole world is right now talking about the industry 4.0 model and when you go more into the depth of this industry 4.0 you will find out industry 4.0 talks about paradigm shift from fuel cars to to electronic cars and this electronic cars are somewhere the shufferless and somewhere run by the robots or somewhere run by the internet so this is uh, a era of autonomous vehicles where technology is changing with the change of time and there are certain industries there are certain players automobile players who had revamped themselves and on the other hand they some of the organizations have not try to you know adapt the technology or the innovations so they are in trouble now and they will be out from the picture Uh, if you talk about the product called tesla the tesla stands nowhere in the market as far as the automobile industry is concerned but right now the car they are producing the the product they are floating into the market it's no doubt you know creating uh, a mind boggling approach so these kind of changes had come up so wireless charging technologies had come up touch screens have come up and voice based assistants which i was talking about like alexa google assistant and siri is coming up so this is something which is which is you know changing with the change of time and when you talk about the invention cycle it starts with the innovation and it's and then you know the creativity is there then imagination is there and then entrepreneurship is there because when you talk about the entrepreneurship it's 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 purely a combination of imagination creativity and innovations the good example are the startups we have seen that that startups are uh, are started by the grassroots entrepreneurs or you know the first generation entrepreneurs and uh, they take they are facilitated with with the incubators and these incubator cells are developed in the institutions or you know the private institutions are also developing the incubator cells where they where they groom themselves and these incubator cells sometimes you know facilitate in arranging a venture capitalists angel investors crown funders so ultimately what is happening that uh, when you talk about the invention you have to uh, cater the things in such a manner that it leads to employment it lead to you know uh, this uh, benefiting the society by and large and when you talk about the entrepreneurship you talk about uh, you know the things in totality because it talks about the employment talks about you know the livelihood of the 
of, of the employee and they somewhere you know helping the society's corporate social responsibility is there so when you talk about invention cycle and and when the so this invention cycle is going to implemented in business in in enterprise it is having a very very different results and that results sometimes benefit the, uh, the the society by and large so uh, if you see this particular uh, uh, discussion we we have uh, a unit 2 which talks about this technological innovation skill development and this unit explains about the concept of innovation model in different types it deliberates on the significance of skill development and initiatives taken by the government of india because because when you talk about the initiatives uh, there are certain initiatives taken by by the organization and on the other hand the government used to develop the uh, pedagogy which can benefit uh, the people by and large so this uh, this ministry of skill and uh, uh, other model is there so if you see this particular uh, discussion we have we are going to talk on innovations which we have already covered little bit then technological innovation is talk is going to talk on process of innovation type of innovation then there is a difference between the make in india and and made in india which is the initiative by government of india that how we can distinguish these two phenomena and use the things uh, in a in a development of the country uh, as a whole so then digital india model is there which is a creation of the present government of india uh, initiatives then skill development which talks about the approaches and strategies and finally the startups india incubators because because these all these things are linked because when the innovation is coming when when you know the new company or the new startup because as i have told you there was a time when when the shelf life of the company was 50 years 60 years right now it has narrowed down to 10 years or 20 years if you see uh, there are some good companies which never exist 20 years back and uh, uh, and there are certain pedagogy there is a certain system or you talk about the e-commerce or you talk about the m-commerce the new philosophy had come up and we have seen that the change is is changing with the change of time and uh, the pedagogy is changing uh, we are in the pandemic stage and in the lockdown there are certain new phenomena had developed like work from home model had come up or you know the electronic learning model had changed or virtual meeting philosophy is is changing with the change of time and somewhere uh, there is a there is a uh, uh, disturbance from the technological part but but more or less you know it is going to be applicable in totality so this kind of this kind of model is is going to play a very important role and when we are innovative it's not like that uh, the innovation can be done in 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 uh, in, a, in a physical manner as for the physical appearance of the product is concerned sometimes we apply the innovation to uh, to make the things you know uh, consumer friendly or student friendly or other so ease of doing is going to play a very important role and uh, it's not like that uh, the initiative can be taken by by the by the individual the government is also quite friendly in nature and they are they are they believes in ease of doing like um, making uh, 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 a model which can be uh, enterprise friendly or the entrepreneurs are are uh, are facilitated to uh, to come and invest so uh, there is uh, there is certain uh, red tapism which need to be eradicated or or narrowed down by that so this is all about and uh, Uh, if you if you see when you talk about innovations there uh, it's not like that which i have talked about that it could be in a physical manner uh, when you go more into the depth of this uh, this this format you know uh, there are certain things which there are certain phenomena which is developed like good place to work and if you go more into the backdrop you will find out that google is a company which always stands at uh, number 1 in good place to work because uh, it's not like that they they always thinks about uh, grooming their product but on the other hand they are more emphasizing on on taking care about the employees how the consumers are going to be benefited how the conducive environment are need to be created how this you know uh, uh, positive approach can be developed and that is the reason you know this work from home model had been had been introduced by by the social networking side if you talk about the facebook or you talk about the google that uh, they are the one who have started and uh, during this lockdown period they have communicated to their employees that they can have a uh, uh, they can they can buy the gadgets they can buy the laptop or desktop and there are certain amount which need to be reimbursed in lieu of that if they are going to buy so this kind of conducive approach this kind of positive pity is definitely enhance the morale of the employee and ultimately what happened that they can 
uh, their performance can be enhanced and it's not uh, and they are not confined to 9 to 5 model so what i mean to say that uh, things are going to be changed with the change of time and you will find out that uh, in, in a coming years more changes are going to come so there are more innovations more inventions which are which we talks about you know uh, developing the product on the other hand making the phenomena more uh, more fruitful or user friendly so that it can be benefited to the employees it can be benefited to uh, the consumers as a whole so if you if you talk about uh, how technology work as a process uh, we 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 see that uh, technology is is not merely confined with the uh, with the physical appearance of the product but it brings a certain change it's and uh, it's it's a it's a perpetual thing which can go on in a in a lifelong manner it's not like that that you can learn the technology today but you can uh, uh, not going to adapt the technology tomorrow so when you're going to talk about technology is an enabler no doubt and we have to always believe that technology work as an enabler it's not like that it can surpass the humans and uh, so it's no doubt human and machine can do go together but when you talk about the technology as a whole it work as an enabler it work as a facilitator so if you are going to take the technology in that manner in, in that definitely it would be an edge otherwise you know it can have a very havoc situation so this is basically a critical success and failure factor so technology is still for learning and uh, it could be more perpetual in nature and it can be, and learning can go on on a day to day basis or in a routine manner or in a regular basis so uh, learning can uh, learning can be lifelong also and when you talk about the learning learning could be always in a three layers that is first you learn then unlearn and then relearn if you are if you have if you have not adapt a habit of unlearning ultimately what happen you would be rigid and ultimately what happen the the product which you have created as a entrepreneur as a as a as a businessman become redundant and you will be out from the picture there are certain good examples about the about the product which have dominated the market and there are some bad examples also kodak and nokia are the two very good examples which which says that they they have dominated the market if you talk about the mobile phones if you talk about the photo reels but ultimately what happened uh, with the change of digitization with the change of digital camera with the change of smartphone the kodak philosophy had 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 gone and they have not changed themselves same happened with with nokia the the operating system they are using it's not you know permit the users to call it smart so the android had taken replaced the symbian and ultimately you see how the change had come up so instrument was good the the battery backup was good and uh, loyalty was uh, quite brand loyalty was there but ultimately the company have not changed so that is something which is quite important and when you talk about technology it should be it is like a pizza and when you go into the market to buy a pizza it could uh, you get in a in a square box and when you open it it's a circle and when you start eating it's a triangle so we have to see how we are going to take the technology how we are going to adapt the technology ultimately if we are uh, rigid if we are not going to because technology always uh, it's like uh, technology is like a, an opportunity and opportunity knock the door but once so if you are going to adapt the technology ultimately you have to see that how you are going to take the technology and sometimes the technology uh, all comes in a in a different shape because uh, if you if you get a shape of square you can't eat you eat when you you know get a, in a triangle mode so you have to customize the thing you have to make that in a tailor made so that it can be uh, user friendly it can be useful for uh, for the individual so uh, and uh, when you go more into the depth of technology technology always believes in the phase implementation it's not like that you can uh, when you're getting the technology you can just you know as a entrepreneur as a businessman or as a adapter you can Uh, get that adapt the technology in one shot and there is always a risk of you know adapting a technology in a one shot because when you when you talk about the technology it, it is like a rabbit when you start evaluating it take a shape of an elephant and when you go for final implementation it it take a shape of a dinosaur so what i mean to say that buying a technology is not everybody cup of tea you have to there are certain cost which are going to be important into it there are certain cost which are quite pivotal into it so and uh, and it's it's a very expensive affair so you have to see at uh, at which uh, juncture uh, you have to you have to go for the technology and uh, and what could be the proportion of that so proportion is very important and uh, if uh, if uh, the combination is not good ultimately what happen there are chances that uh, 
that the taste can differ or you know the requirement which you you supposed to expect from the from the from the technology or from the product can vary so that is the thing which which need to be taken care of. and uh, when you see this particular image you will find out that it's uh, uh, the, there is a feasible uh, technology there is a uh, uh, market and there is a business so innovation is in between and uh, uh, and it's quite uh, uh, popular also so innovation is often also viewed as the application of better solutions that meet new requirements and articulated needs or existing market needs because based on the market needs the innovation need to be done if and uh, what i mean to say uh, the research and development need to be a routine uh, phenomena a, a routine matter so that uh, whatever the things can come out it can be useful to the organization so research and development could be quite customized quite tailor made so that whatever the research is going on it is going to be uh, hit the particular uh, frame for which you know the research had been formulated so this is the model which is which is there if you see there are six types of innovations and when you talk about uh, the product that what we produce and sell when you talk about the services it's exceeding customer expectations because the customer expectation is changing with the change of time there was a time when when the company used to sell the product and they never you know believe in giving the services but right now the services is an important ingredient it's going to play a very vital role and uh, somewhat i what we mean to say it's uh, 50% is is the uh, is the product and 50% is the service so uh when you talk about the services you talk about the customization you talk about the tailor made approach and how you are going to interact with the with the with the consumers because uh, if the company is producing you know 1 lakh product in a in a in a month it's really a cumbersome for the company to interact with with 1 lakh consumers but you have to develop a phenomena you have to develop a model like you know the help of the robots or the machine learning or the artificial intelligence which can directly you know in touch with the in the consumers there are certain e-commerce companies they have they have created a voice recognition softwares and artificial intelligence or the robotics are are applicable into it so with the help of robots the robots are in the initial stage interacting with the machine interacting with the humans and try to resolve the problem and if they are not able to resolve the problem at their end then only the call can be diverted to the uh, executives who are physically present in the customer centers so what i mean to say service is quite uh, 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 important in the present scenario and process is very important the uh, continuous improvement and how we do the things when when e-commerce was introduced the challenge was that how to get the product and uh, whether the product would be of the similar nature what we you know to buy in a brick and mortar mode so this kind of uh, uh, model had been developed where logistics was strength strengthened and then finally what happened and uh, as far as the food is concerned when it going to be delivered by swiggy or you know zomato or food uh, food panda app you you uh, order the product and you get the product in 2 hours time so what i what we mean to say that here the process is quite uh, perpetual and uh, and uh, it's quite you know fruitful that when the consumers order any product they get the delivered so right now it's not applicable with the with the food industry the uh, there are certain you know the facilities which are available by the by the by the food by, by this e-commerce portals where they strengthen the product and try to deliver the product in a very short span so logistics is going to be changed with the change of time and supply chain management is somewhat you know taken uh, replace the term called logistics and when you more talk about the supply chain management it's starting with the consumer and end to consumer so if the consumers are not benefited or you know not happy ultimately uh, the purpose of the supply chain is not going to be resolved so management when you talk about the management the business strategies systems and structures are are going to play a very important role and when you talk about the structures it's not like that you develop the structures in a brick and mortar mode you can take a help of a technology you can apply you know the the servers the dedicated servers or you know the cloud model where directly uh, the things are linked with the in the consumers and uh, so the customer centric approach and the business strategies need to be developed or the pedagogy is going to be formulated that how the things are going to be benefited so it's not like that the product which have got the physical appearance there only 
the things are changed. And when you talk about the commerce or when you talk about the business, when you talk about governance, everywhere this technology is going to play a very important role. Either it could be electronic learning or it could be a governance. You see the things are changing. The very good examples are the, you know, the Aadhaar card. There was a time when we, when we particularly, when we have to uh, uh, rectify certain changes or, you know, make certain changes in the Aadhaar card, we have to physically go, go to the uh, uh, channel partners who had been you know, created by, by the government of India. But right now, the, the model had been changed where with the help of technology, you can do that. So, openness is coming up and people are working beyond boundaries and collaborating globally. This model had come up. In electronic learning, we have, we have seen that things are changing and, uh, and there are certain things which, which is now accredited also, which, which is now recognized also. So, openness is, is, is coming up and everywhere people believe in openness because when you talk about openness, you talk about, you know, the free and open things. And, it, and when the things are available free, its, uh, its penetration, its footfall is quite larger as compared to uh, the other thing and, the peop and more people can view it and more people can give their opinion and more sharing can be done. So, uh, so lifelong learning and sharing can be done and values are going to play a very important role because creating unique value that eliminates the cost to complete. And uh, that is more important. If you see this particular uh, in, uh, types of innovations, you find out that uh, this had been bifurcated by uh, in the form of innovation wheel and we have configuration, we have offerings, we have experiences. And if you, if you see the configuration, it talks about, you know, the, uh, the profit model, the network, then structure. And if you if you talk about the offerings, talk about the process, then product performance, and then product uh, system. So finally, the experience talks about the customer experience, brand, channel, and services. So in e-commerce also, the experience is quite important. When one consumers buy any product, he he or she put the reviews on the on the particular portal. And finally, when the next user used to buy the product, he can initially see the reviews of the product. So. There, there's a there's a good thing that uh, you can get the review of the product and finally you can it's not like that it can applicable to the product there are some good books there there are certain you know the web series which are coming up and what we observed that that it had replaced the the phenomena of the startups uh, 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 replaced the phenomena of the uh, setup boxes so what we observed that when we talk about the uh, uh, this setup boxes People have moved from this uh, from this to Prime Video or Netflix or you know the YouTube where uh, or uh, Disney Hotstar where what we observe that that they are have, they are into the web streaming they are into the web series and uh, prior to you know uh, going to the particular uh, you know the web series you can gl glimpse about uh, glimpse the trailer and you can get the information so uh, what what I mean to say the past experience previous exp uh, uh, consumers uh, opinions are going to play a very important role and brands and channels are and services are, are are changing with the change of time it's not like that the brand which was there in the past going to be exist in the present scenario so and the and the channel is also changing so distribution channel which was you know very stereotype like uh, wholesaler retailers or you know the uh, the brick and mortar stores is now changing and uh, it's, it's it's changing with the change of time uh, the, the the community kitchen philosophy had come up. The dedicated dedicated kitchens or mega kitchens had come up where uh, they have got a, a food which is which which fulfills all the parameters and and all these uh, food apps are are you know linked with that uh, the, that particular portal and delivering the product from there. So so during this lockdown period during this pandemic stage we observed that that these kind of business had had groomed a lot and fast moving consumer goods market has also come up. So there was a time when we visit to the Parchunwala and buy, and from that store we used to buy the product. But on the other hand, we order the product through this fast-moving consumer goods app, and we get the product in a, on a same day. So same day delivery model is going on. So services is something which is changing, and we observe that things are changing. So when you talk about the creativity, it talks about the discovery, it talks about the invention, and it talks about the innovation. So when discovery is all about you know the new ideas, knowledge, and concepts. Invention is talking about technologies and business models. How the business models are need to be created because if the if the if the model have uh, a long term vision, it's quite good. If the mod, if the model have short term vision, ultimately what happen? Uh, the company will be dead by after certain time. The very good examples are the startups. We know that uh, 
in every day thousands of startups are coming up in all the domains either talk about food or talk about aviation or talk about travel or you talk about you know physical appearance or talk about learning or talk about the governance but out of that only 5% or 1% get the success why other fails because they their business model is not you know fruitful they have their model is to just you know take the money from the venture capitalists or the crown funders or angel investors and once that money exhausted they become bankrupt or they are out from the pictures so in the beginning stage it's, it seems quite lucrative that that you get a lot of money from the venture capitalist and after certain time what happen when uh, when they eat all the money they are in trouble and they shut down the things so uh, business model need to be quite uh, uh, important and uh, when you talk about innovation it talks about useful implementations commodities goods services and experience so everywhere you find out the innovation is is going to be played a very important role amazon is pioneer in e-commerce and we have seen that they are the one who have uh, who have introduced the philosophy of interacting with the consumers the robots are going to be interact with the consumers and these robots are 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 you know uh, interacting with the consumers that uh, in a real sense mm-hmm. you will find out that you are interacting with the humans so this kind of philosophy they have developed and the database they have created and uh, real time information are going to be shared by um, uh, by these companies and they they create a backup of that so at what time as a consumer if as a consumer at what time you are going for the window dressing at what time you are going to buy the product at what time you are going to buy the different kind of product and when you are going to do the window dressing when you are going to actually buy the product so this kind of you know the real time information are going to be kept and there the technology and innovation is going to play a very important role and uh, uh, certain new product are coming up as far as you know the speakers are concerned you see the alexa enabled speakers are con- con- coming up or the siri is coming up where they are navigating the consumers they are they are navigating the users to do all the things and uh, from this uh, uh, wifi or web enabled speakers you can do the shopping also so there is no need to open the gadgets and and uh, there are certain informations which need to be done with the help of that so when you talk about you know the th- this term that innovation invention and creativity the creativity is the act of turning new and imaginative ideas into reality because we create certain things and and invention is creation of new idea or concept that is very true because when new idea or concept comes uh, how we are going to uh, apply in the in the in the industry state of affairs or academic state of affairs that is very important so innovation is turning a new concept into commercial success uh, the example is you know a uh, drone example which i have quoted that it, it was started by the army or by the defense but right now it is used by by the by the different agencies in and uh, in uh, it's not like that it's just you know doing this kind of job uh, in in marriage parties in in, in banquet hall we have seen that drone is you know uh, uh, taking a snapshots or or recording a, a photo shoots so this is something which had bought a change so this is a paradigm shift which starts with a the novelty then creation then then uh, innovations and then imagination so uh, all those things are are going to be quite important and uh, when you talk about the importance of innovation innovations helps in solving problems example given providing consumer customer service vir- virtually using online complaints and innovations helps organization to face the competitions also and how you are going to change yourself how you are going to revamp yourself and there are certain and uh, it is going to work as a alarm bell when you are going to Uh, change yourself so that uh, the new players are coming with the new thoughts and you can also bring that that product so that things are going to be changed so so the process of innovation talks about idea generation and mobilization then advocacy and screening then experimentation commercialization is quite important because uh, every time if you are innovating every time if you are inventing and not you know having a profitable model ultimately what happen the company will be on the deathbed so when you talk about research and development when you talk about uh, Uh, innovations it had a cost so that is the reason changes are not always good and the example which i was quoted that when you talk about evolution it is a rabbit when you start exploring it become it take a shape of a elephant and when you go for final implementation it take a shape of a dinosaur because cost is going to play a very important role there were some good organizations who had started with a very positive approach but they have massively invest on their technologies and they they have not taken care about their legacy systems about you know the stereotype 
uh, conventional approach and uh, ultimately what happened the whole system become haphazard so it's not like that uh, and you have to quite cautious that what could be the budget of the technology yeah, either it could it, uh, based on the size of the or the potential of the companies like uh, if you have planned that uh, the budget could be 20 crores then it could be uh, revolves around that only it's not like that it can cross 20 crores and become 50 crores mm -hmm. so how you're going to arrange the 30 crores and in that case what happened you talk about the technology 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 and you will be in trouble so diffusion and implementation is is very important into it I think uh, I think uh, we have uh, we have talked about uh, many things, and uh, we see how the innovation and creativity is is uh, is change is changing with the change of time. And government of India is also doing a lot of uh, you know uh, effort in this particular directions. And um, and there are there are certain models, there are certain pedagogy which had come up. There are certain initiatives like Digital India Initiative is there or Skill India Initiative is there. We have seen that skilling is very important. It's not like that every time the government is going to initiate all those things, but uh, but many things need to be done um, by us only. So uh, the uh, the famous quotation talks about that charity begins at home, and uh, if you are not going to change yourself, ultimately you are not you are you are not going to uh, put yourself in the in the coming environment. So change is very important, and uh, if you are changing yourself, if if the organization is going to change. Ultimately, what happened? The many things are going to be done by that. So, what we what we observe that uh, this diffusion and implementation is 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 something which is which is there, and uh, uh, there are certain brands which are uh, uh, which have dominated with the help of this virtual reality, and many e-commerce brands have also come up, which talks about you know uh, the live commerce and and spoof and fed information is is there. So. Uh, what I was talking on that uh, these are the innovations and uh, which are which are started by by the by the government by the organization by the individuals and the technocrats also coming up the startups and uh, no doubt and other model is is one step in this direction and government is also doing quite a lot doing in this direction so make in India model versus made in India model is quite applicable where there was a time when we exclusively believe in made in India and involves domestic factors of production that is land labor capital entrepreneurship and technology and on and right now we have come one step ahead to that which talks about make in india which is just an invitation to the foreign factors of production in form of capital technology and investment to employ indian laborers and use the land and natural resources in india that is where that is something which which invite you know the foreign players to enter the indian market and develop the product like you know the big brands like apple or you know the other players are going to develop uh, are going to make their manufacturing hub and going to deliver the product over there so uh, and uh, digital india program or the initiative is a is a great initiative by the by the present government which talks about you know the robust digital infrastructure throughout the country resulting in authentic digit, digitized identity to the citizens of the nations and and believes in the good governance because uh, good governance is something which always believes and talks about the ease of doing the things and online services and uh, and cashless transactions are going to be emphasized more attention upi and uh, mm. wallets are knocking the door and in the coming years you will find out more contemporary thoughts are coming up like virtual currency is coming up which is you know backed by the blockchain technology and uh, uh, this blockchain technology is something which was initiated by satoshi nakamoto who was japanese but in in the coming years you find out this blockchain technology is used by the hospitals by the education institutions or by the or by the charitable institutions also so digital empowerment through digital literacy could be one of the initiatives by the digital india campaign and uh, it provides speed internet services and uh, reaching to the unreached so that uh, a broad highway can be created broadband highways can be created where where there is no need of you know physically going over there but with the help of internet the things are going to be changed to provide e governance by reforming and digitizing government services to bring e revolution in terms of electronic delivery of goods and services and to provide basic information through online platform that is more important because 
if the online pro platform is going to be developed ultimately uh, the con the consumers or the citizens of the country can do the things from there so to provide more em employment in the IT sector so skilling is quite important when you talk about you know this particular things and they are top creative thinking skills which uh, which revolves around analytical open minded problem solving communication openness is something which is very important because it always believes and provide flexibility to the individuals to learn at their own pace and at per their own convenient there are certain universities who are you know go, doing lot of as far as the learning is concerned indira gandhi national open university is one university which has which is the the genesis behind uh, this particular university was that only that that how uh, the modular approach or the reaching to the unreach philosophy goes going to be developed so and uh, from there the skilling is come because uh, as i told the technology or the learning requires a cost and if the and uh, if there is the massive cost involved ultimately what happen the poor will uh, make themselves away from that so ultimately what i mean to say this this skill initiative is something which is a national policy and the skill development entrepreneurship program is is a create creation by the by the national skill development missions and a uh, lot of different initiatives are there and one of the initiatives are kaushal se kalyan and then kushal bharat abhiyan and then mapping demand and supply so ultimately what i mean to say this this uh, this kind of model is coming up so skill in initiative is the initiative by government of india and uh, this this e skill uh, e learning aggregator uh, portal is also developed and uh, swayam platform is developed so so ultimately the purpose is very clear that they are going to develop a philosophy they are going to develop uh, uh, a model a skilling model which is definitely going to help the uh, citizens of the country and uh, what we observe that uh, there are certain courses and skill development programs initiated by the like government of india has special focus towards skill development to cater the growing scientific sectors and these sectors require special skills to carry out research and innovations and uh, on the other hand uh, these opportunities the government offers are are following like pradhan mantri kaushal vikas yojana skill acquisition and knowledge awareness for livelihood promotions then standard training assessment and reward then ulan then a lot of schemes are there and there are certain agencies who are you know working as a enabler or facilitator so what i mean to say that uh, skilling is something which is a need of an hour and if if the if the organization is not promoting or the individual is not updating ultimately the things are going to be uh, not as per they think of so uh, the individual or the citizens or the employee always have to believe always emphasize on on uh, on the learning and and when they are skilling uh, skilling themselves ultimately they are uh, getting an edge uh, as compared to the other em employees or the other persons and definitely it is going to be a win win thing for them in a coming futures so uh, the startup india and incubator model is there where startup india is a flagship program which was started by government of india and there are certain incubators when you talk about the incubators incubators are uh, incubator cells are going to be developed uh, in 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 by, by the government or by the particular institutions or the private institutions and these incubator cells are equipped with with many things they are bringing the venture capitalists they are bringing the angel investors or the crown funders so one stop portal is there one stop solution is there where where uh, if any grassroots entrepreneurs or the first generation entrepreneurs have certain thought in his mind and he want to initiate anything these incubators are going to help in that because what i have told that starting anything is quite easy and 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 how you're going to accomplish in the in a, in a coming years is really a tough task so this uh, this incubator cells and these uh, these uh, uh, educators or the mentors can definitely help the startups or uh, or the uh, initiators to to work on that i i think by that we can wind up and uh, uh, the action plan has three pillars which are as follows simplification and land holding funding supports and incentives and industry and academia partnership incubation is there so what i mean to say that uh, innovation is something which is uh, which is a need of an hour and uh, when you talk about the startup uh, uh, it is it is a way by which the things are going to be changed i think by that we can wind up our session and uh, and complete this particular uh, in a, in a in a coming session we are going to talk on uh, 
different aspects. We are going to talk on uh, on uh, emerging businesses and the other units which can definitely helpful to the learners. Thank you very much.